First Lieutenant Jeremy Jones, United States Marine Corps, currently with LCE, Murph D. I'm a 1302 combat engineer officer in Jackson, North Carolina. So throughout the exercise crocodile response, the Marine Corps has been working alongside the Australian Defense Force to demonstrate our interoperability by demonstrating a HADR, which is Humanitarian Aid Disaster Relief Effort Mission. Um, throughout this, we have been executing tasks designated to us by our hire. Um, tasks included enabling mobility, um, repairing obstacles, and purifying water for the host nation in the event of the disaster. I am the engineer OIC out here. Basically, I'm supervising the uh, water purification specialists, 1171 water dogs, and the uh, 1371s who are doing the uh, route repair and obstacle repair along with uh, material handling assets. It's important for the Marine Corps and the Australian Defense Force to train environments like these because this is where the disasters would actually occur um, in reality. A small island like this, not too unlike any of the uh, host nations surrounding Australia. So a typhoon comes in, creates havoc, damages infrastructure, blocks roads. We're able to come in behind them, kind of sweep things up, help that host nation out, get them back on their feet so they're able to support themselves. It's important for the Marine Corps and the Australian Defense Force to work together in exercises such as Crocker Response because we both have our own method of doing things. So being able to cross train with each other, getting some best practices from either side is gonna make us better and more effective force for uh, following on those. I would say the biggest thing that I learned was actually using some of their equipment, such as uh, doing the, uh, the actual repair of the roads. They use different equipment such as uh, chainsaw teams, mm -hmm. which they actually have designated chainsaw teams with their, uh, with their ranks, whereas we just have them within the 1371 community. Working with the Australians has been very enlightening. I've had a great experience with them, developed a very good professional relationship with the Australians. Um, they're very willing to help us out, as are we, to help them. Um, and they're very keen on uh, getting after training, which we can appreciate. So the light water purification system, as talked about by 1171 water purification specialist water dogs, um, is an exp expeditionary piece of equipment for the Marine Corps and a very valuable asset. It allows us to get somewhere in a short amount of time based off of its low profile and uh, very, very minimal weight, uh, get it to where it needs to be, set it up within 45 minutes and start producing potable water within an hour. That enables us to push further and achieve objectives because we're going to rely on water to get to where we need to go. Okay. So exercise crocodile response was a humanitarian aid disaster relief mission with the Marine Corps through Marine Corps Rotational Force Darwin and the Australian Defense Force, one of our partners in the exercise. The exercise consisted of us being able to provide aid to a notional government um, whether that be through power, water, through route clearance, or anything else that the host nation may request. The crocodile response exercise was a demonstration of our capabilities to, to conduct the R2P2 process, which is rapid response planning process, in which the Marine Corps and the ADF were able to come up with a plan within six hours and then take shaping actions in order to execute that plan. The plan consisted of us being able to organize, mobilize, and move everyone over to the simulated government's island, and that's where we conducted the mission. So we were able to utilize our ACE, our aviation combat element, by utilizing their MV-22 Osprey to provide troop and equipment transportation to the government of Belizea which is the notional government that we were partaking in with this exercise. Working with the Australians has been very enlightening. Um, they have a lot of the same capabilities we do, and they've got the same attitude that we do, where we just want to accomplish our mission. The important thing about this exercise is that it was a demonstration of how we can get to the island and then posture ourselves in order to receive tasks from the host nation that would then go to our hire for approval, and then we execute those tasks.